All right, guys, in the studio today, we have one of the most anticipated shoes of 2024. I could not be more excited to bring these to you today because I've been looking forward to this release for a couple of months now. Everyone really has, and if you're an OG to the game, like I am not, because I'm too young to be, but if you are, you've definitely seen this shoe before, you definitely know and love it. It is a classic for sure. It released a week ago, and I was lucky enough to grab my pair. It did come in pretty quick as well. Today in hand, we got the Jordan 4 Military Blues. Let's do the last one, like we always do. Here they are in the flesh. You got the hang tag on the side, which we could probably tuck in for now. Um, and here is the shoe itself, all in the flesh. So, for those of you guys who don't know, these first dropped in 1989, and they actually were not very popular, which is a very little known detail about this shoe. People really didn't like them all that much back in the day. And fortunately, they were sitting for retail. But nowadays, we all know that that is not the case. These sold out instantly on the Nike sneakers app, as is to be expected. Um, and we're going to jump into every detail about them. I also have the bread for reimagines right here in hand. Um, I already did my review of these, but I'm going to do a little bit of a comparison because they are the only other Jordan 4 that I have besides the Armaniers which are a collab. So we're not going to deal with those. I wish on everything that I did not sell my Pine Green SB4s, but they were just a little bit too tight on me. We'll talk about all that and more in just a second. Before we do that, we got to jump into the box. We got the OG box here. They didn't play any games. Got the gray speckling on the bottom, black top with the flight in red. This is a size tag directly from that Nike sneaker. Got very, very lucky indeed. Um, actually, these have not even dropped yet. I forgot to mention, this is an early pair. So I'm getting these out to you early, even though most YouTubers already got, got their videos out somehow. Inside, we got that speckled paper as well as shoe trees. I always thought that these Jordan 4 boxes were pretty big, but that's neither here nor there. Let's jump into the shoe itself. So, on the lateral side, very OG looking Jordan 4 color blocking. You got the blue and the gray. Uh, we're gonna talk a little bit about the color on the shoe because it is actually very controversial. In the camera, it looks more light than it actually is. I also have an overhead light shining above, but this upper color is actually more of a gray. So this is a gray and blue sneaker instead of a white and blue. The gray upper is very, very dull. It's very subdued. And this blue is closer to a dark blue than it is to like a UNC blue. Um, I'm pretty sure you can actually pick that up in the camera. The blue is very dark. It's not a light blue at all. It's almost close to a navy, I would say. About three shades off of navy. And I really thought that this blue would be more of a light, um, like UNC blue, more similar to what we had on the 2012 pair, but they stuck with the OG um, colorway on these. On the back, we do have Nike Air and White, which is one of the most coveted details on these OG Jordan 4s. The shape of the shoe is done in the OG fashion. It didn't go back to the old bad style of Jordan 4s. So these are gonna be actually pretty comfortable, um, but we'll get into that in a bit. On the back of the tongue, we do have Air Jordan upside down. On the front of the tongue, we got that Jumpman. On the insole, we do have Nike Air right there in blue. On the bottom, we have a gray, blue, and white outsole. Pretty simple and clean stuff. The air bubble is done in a clear. The midsole is actually completely white. 
Um, interestingly enough, you guys can tell that this midsole is much lighter than the upper. The upper is really more of a gray. The midsole is a very light, white, like cocaine white. Um, the pull tab on the back is definitely a point of contention for Jordan 4s, and this one is pretty soft. I would say that the bread reimagined one is a bit softer, um, and the Pine SBs are the softest of the three. So these are not quite as soft as the old one, and I know people get the digging feeling at the back of their Achilles, but these should not do that. Medial side, same exact deal as the lateral side. You got the mesh netting all throughout right here, done in white and blue, white on top, blue on the underlay, white laces on these, no extra laces, which is kind of typical for Jordan 4s. They do look pretty good with the OG lace. You also got this orange Nike Air hang tag, which was also on the reimagined Jordan 4s. Pretty cool, even though it doesn't match with the shoe color at all. Jumping into the right shoe, exact same deal going on. No variability between the two Nike. The drum man on the tongue, Nike on the back. Same colors and everything. Um, okay, so now let's talk about the colors because it is controversial. We talk about it a little bit, but all I'll say is I do really, really wish that they stuck with the white. I think that the gray on the shoe just doesn't look good. It really doesn't do the shoe justice. And it makes it kind of like bland, which is weird because this should be a very vibrant shoe in my opinion, but for some reason they chose to make it washed out. Now, I do understand that the OG had more of a washed out vibe, and in the camera it looks better. It literally looks better in the camera than in hand, um, which is weird. That almost never happens, but it's still a very nice shoe, don't get me wrong. But the blue and the, the upper gray, both in my opinion, should have been lighter. I think that if they made these like the SB4s in terms of the colorway, where it's light, bright white, and a bright color on the side, like as the accenting color, they would have just looked a lot better. There's no reason why this shoe should be toned down by dullness. Another thing is the quality on these not very good like if i push down you can see there's like almost no give um there's also no tumbling going on um this part is more of a suede but it's a pretty bad suede i would say i mean like quality control wise i got a pretty good pair i don't really see any inconsistencies let's look at the other shoe um i do see one right there on the toe box of black dot well, I'm sure I can get that off with enough rubbing. Um, but yeah, quality is not the best on the shoe. And it is a super GR, so kind of makes sense. But like, look, when I push down, not very good. Now, if we look at the Red 4 Reimagines, these are an entirely different story. The weather is absolutely tumbled. It's very soft. Maybe if I break the militaries in a little bit more, but I hope you guys can pick that up, that the quality on the breads is definitely better, and I think the colorway is better too. Uh, the quality on these is not bad, but it's just not as good. But that being said, I do still like to shoe a lot. I'm probably still gonna wear it. I know that a lot of people have been complaining about this shoe. They also complain about these because they were leather instead of new buck. I didn't have that take. I think these look better than the OGs. And yeah, I think if something looks better than the OGs, then just do that. I'm not one of those guys who has to have it exactly the same as the OGs. I don't get the point of that. Especially if it looks better the other way. So these definitely should have been lighter. That's my opinion. You guys let me know yours down below. Thanks for watching. Take care. I hope we get some more cool shoes soon. These are definitely two good pairs um, that are definitely worth wearing. They are going for around $250 on the resale market, which is not much at all. I grab them sooner than later to get a better price because these will go up for sure. Guaranteed. Over time, they will definitely go up. So 
So with that being said, I'm going to end it off here. Thanks for watching. Let me know down below what you think. And I'll see you all later. Peace.